money is kind of the the total economic energy of a, of a system so the kind of I'm kind of thinking almost of a of an electrical system like the money is the power in the system and then the currency is I mean it's meant to represent the power in the system and it's kind of like a it's like a map or an or an, an attempt that enables us to move that economic energy around the system so it's almost like current flowing through a circuit Whereas the the total economic energy is the money itself. Um, I've heard yeah, you call money, it like money a, is the energy. Yeah, I've the money is the energy. A, a ledger in the sky. I've heard you call it that in the past, which I. I well, there think are lots of metaphors, really but but why don't we start with energy? Uh, so money is the energy in the system. So so how do I store energy? Well, if I had a million dollars, I could pump water uphill with mm -hmm. the million dollars. I could convert the million dollars into electricity, put it in a pump, and I can pump water uphill into a reservoir. And now uh, all, the, all the, the water behind the dam represents potential energy. By the way, if I'm lucky, right, the force of nature just dropped the rainwater in, into the reservoir behind the dam, mm -hmm. and I don't have to pump it up. So now I've got a million dollars worth of water. Now, why, why is the water energy? It wouldn't be energy at sea level. It's energy at altitude, mm -hmm. right? The, the, the higher you are, the more energy you have. If you're a thousand feet up with a million pounds of water or a million gallons of water, a thousand feet up, that's more energy than a hundred feet up, mm -hmm. right? The effect, of, you know, the energy is the difference between where, where the water is going to flow versus where it is. That's potential energy is going to be given off. And it's and, and ultimately what you're doing is you're channeling gravitational energy, mm -hmm. right? The real energy came from gravity and we and the water is the fluid. If I'm flying an airplane at 50,000 feet, I have more energy than at 5,000 feet. Right? How, how do you know? I just point the nose down. And the plane starts to accelerate, right? And and I pick up velocity. So I'm converting potential energy into kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if I wanted to move energy via another medium, right, I can move it through air pressure. Sound is acoustic energy. Mm -hmm. Ah! That's more energy, right? <laughs> if I yell, I'm putting more energy into the system, right? Uh, less energy more energy right singing right what 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 are we doing we're listening to someone perform music we're watching them uh do express a, do an, ex an extraordinary performance art on energy mm -hmm. look at a guitar right and uh, think about uh tesla said you want to understand the universe think in terms of um of vibration mm -hmm. right and frequency and energy so a guitar has got a fretboard and when you're uh, when you're playing the guitar, you're actually ch changing the frequency with which the strings vibrate. You know, one hand is actually uh, putting a bit of energy uh, into the system, uh, but the uh, but the real trick is change the length of the strings so that the strings vibrate at different resonating frequencies, and then you get the chord, you get the music. So uh, any you can use many many mediums to move energy. When sound is moving through the air, right? The air is the current currency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, is it a good currency or bad currency? Well, the sound moves uh, through the water faster than through the air. Water is a better currency than air. Uh, but uh, the sound moves through a piece of wood or solid faster than the water. And the stiffer the solid, the faster the sound moves mm -hmm. and the more efficiently it moves. So you can pick any kind of medium to move energy electricity is, is is a way to move it sound is a way to move it water is a way to move energy you have a certain amount of energy you know in your body and your blood right is is the currency that's moving the energy through your body mm -hmm. right and and uh, it works to a certain level so uh, so fiat currencies are a method of moving energy um, all, all of these, all of these mediums have dissipation. Like they dissipate energy, right? Um, that's why. Um, that's why. That's why. Uh, well, if I shine a light uh, through a vacuum, it will travel further 
than if I shine a light through a wet blanket. Mm -hmm. right? Why? Same, same energy dissipated faster, right? Through a solid than through the air. But you know, it, you can figure out that we can see stars that are light years away, but you can't see candles that are 10 miles away mm -hmm. because the air doesn't, uh, it, it dissipates energy faster. So all of these, uh, all of these things dissipate energy at a certain rate. Uh, the US dollar right now dissipating energy maybe at the rate of 15% uh, a year, about. Um, but in, in, uh, in Argentina or in Turkey, they're dissipating energy at the rate of 70% a year. And uh, the best managed US you know, currency, the best managed uh, at a given year, maybe is dissipating energy at 7% a year. And right now in Japan, the Japanese currency has lost 19% let's say the US dollar strengthened 19% against, against the yen in the last uh, six months. Okay, so if the US dollar is weakened 8.5% against consumer goods, and if it's weakened 20% against property, like single family homes, and if it's weakened 33% against oil, but it's strengthened 19% against the yen, you can see that uh, that the yen is losing 60 percent, 50 to 60 percent of its energy in six months against uh, against a commodity like oil. Now there are all sorts of a, all sorts of um, you know individual effects. So oil is probably going up in price because the scarcity of oil has been increased because of the war. But if we took U.S. single-family homes and said it looks like the inflation rate of the U.S. dollar against scarce desirable assets is about 20 percent, then you can see that uh, that the effective inflation rate of the Japanese yen against scarce desirable assets is 35 percent, maybe 40 percent. Becomes tricky to measure, but but uh, that's what happens. So the the reason that I don't want to hold the currency forever is because it's bleeding off energy over time. But the reason that I want to hold it for a day is uh, because there are massive network effects. When I walk into a pizzeria, they don't price the pizza in Apple stock and they don't price it in Bitcoin. They don't price it in bar ounces of gold. They price it in dollars. When I go to Europe, when the EU formed, one of the interesting things that happened is in the 10 years after the EU formed, most menus in the European Union started listing uh, products in the local language and English. English became the second language on all menus of most nice restaurants all throughout Europe. And then, um, of course, they started listing prices in euros. Before that, they listed uh, the menu in French and francs. Mm -hmm. 